Hello Mzansi, this is a Facebook post on how Unonze Zonchilo became a scammer. So a woman came through and posted this. I'm a young black African woman who owns a rental truck, bought it early April 2019 with the aim of trying to make a living for myself. So I bought last year June, I signed a contract with Lolunto Projects. The agreement was that I lease my truck to his company and he pays me at the beginning of every month. I'm talking about a huge amount of money. As I'm writing this, Lonuntu has not paid me even a single cent from June 2020 until now. It's almost been a year. A few weeks after signing the contract, I see Nonzu Zonchilo posting my exact same track on his page with a caption, another member added to the family. Obviously, now I'm confused. How does one just write something like that about a track that's not even theirs? I then decided to take my truck back from him because at this point, I'm not even sure what the hell is going on. After fighting and fighting with Nolundu and him refusing to give me my key, I eventually had to involve lawyers, sheriffs and the court. Obviously, those kind of things take time and money. Fast forward to January this year, I received a call from Nonzu Zonchilo. This is Pumulani Nchilo's little brother. By the way, yep, him. He tells me, Mala, it's a new year, blah, blah, blah. I don't want any drama involving your truck. When can you come and fetch it? So I tell him I will fly down to Josie as soon as possible and come and get it. He tells me he has a key as well. But in the meantime, he needs a truck document so he can move it to his yard, apparently, and book it into another storage. So I'm like, okay, cool, we'll send it soon. Does he not put pressure on me via WhatsApp straight after our call? He says it's urgent, so I, I send it. Now, when I was ready to go and fetch my truck, Unon Zizonjilo refused to send me the location of where it was parked. Eventually, the sheriff gets back to me saying they have found the truck and I can come and collect it. When I get there, I hear that my truck has been sold to another guy and that guy would not let go of my truck unless he receives his money back. So it had become obvious to me that Unon Zizonchila had been working hand in hand with Lununtu all this time. Fortunately for me, I could prove that the truck was rightfully mine, so that was not an issue. I found my truck in the worst conditions. Wires were cut off, batteries were stolen, it had dents, etc. I am absolutely disgusted that people could do such cruel things. Was that not enough that you guys used my truck and did not pay me my money? You guys had to go the extreme mile and sell something that's not even yours. Honestly, disgusted. Be careful of the social media boys. That money that they flaunt, it's not even theirs. It's stolen money. May God deal with them according to what they deserve. Please share for awareness. Sometimes you see this popular picture that you can just find everywhere when you type Unonze Zonchelo. Yes, this track. This is the same track that Unonze and his partner Unoluntu um, stole from this particular woman. Boom, Zanzi. That's it from me. Till I see you again, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel for the latest. Mugosi. Bye-bye.